also been plotting on what I can do to make season two. Yes, season two, guys. Way better, way funner. My wonderful, wonderful guest is a surprise. You guys will never figure this out. Hey guys, welcome to my new podcast, Creating Art Out of Life, with me, Elena V. I'm a dancer and a film director from Manila, Philippines, and I've made this podcast to celebrate life and art. This is your safe space to enjoy and learn from fun and inspiring conversations with artists, showing you how love and pain is really where art blooms most. This podcast is available on both YouTube and Spotify, so either subscribe or follow. Hope you enjoy this episode. Peace. We are recording on the camera. We're recording on the audio. Guys, welcome back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Creating Art of Life podcast. It's been shit. It's been like two or three. No, it's been like three weeks since the last episode. I apologize, guys. I just recovered from the code to the vid. You know, terrible times. Um, But I've also been plotting and really studying on what i can do to make season two yes season two guys of this podcast way better way funner way more engaging for you guys i'm all about improvement and so i've been studying what you guys like what you guys don't like what you guys might like um and just studying how i can make this podcast an overall better experience funner experience so you guys can expect in season two after this episode funner segments more engaging themes that we're going to be talking about and more focused and concise um, conversations and that's why guys hit the like and subscribe button you better do that now and follow the podcast on spotify because i'm just getting started again um so to commemorate this last episode of season one of this podcast i actually wanted to bring in somebody that i feel like kind of shares the same sentiments about improvement and improving on your craft as I do. I've been wanting to bring in this person for some time now. Um, but, you know, only now she was free enough to, to, to come on. So I'm grateful and I'm excited. And I'm excited for you guys to also get to know a little bit more about her. Today, 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 my guest, my wonderful, wonderful guest uh, is a surprise. You guys will never, never figure this out. She is a filmmaker, a film director, and a dancer. Everybody, please, let's welcome my, my great, great, great friend, Evie. Everybody, clap, clap, clap. Wait, why don't I have like a, like a long intro like all of your other guests? Don't they have like really long, like dope? dope intros oh well you know i feel like people just want more concise more quick you know content people's people's attention span is really short so i figured why not make it more concise and straight to the point Mm -hmm. okay okay fair uh thank you for having me of course thank you for coming how are you i'm okay i'm good i'm i'm i feel like have you ever had like a Have you ever had like writer's block? Yeah, I have that all the time. I have that all the time. Is that what you're going through? Well, yeah, that's kind of what I was going through, but I'm out of it and I'm finally, you know, moving. So, yeah. Great. So what have you been like, what have you been working on? I'm writing a slice of life short film. Ooh, would you be able to tell us more about it? Mm, maybe not. I think uh, I'd rather not talk about certain things I'm working on if it's not totally, totally set and ready. It did well. I respect that. I respect that. I mean, like, that's how I am. That's how a lot of people are. So I respect that. Talking about, you know, your plans and what you're working on. I feel like you have this kind of same attitude as me towards how we look at our craft and how we kind of have an attitude towards you know the process of things um you've always oh, wait hold on uh where's my like glass of wine like don't you serve your your guests like glasses of wine all the time like why don't oh why don't i have a glass of wine there's just a oh um, observation 
Well, I mean, I mean, I I can. Um, you, I I have to go to the grocery though. Like, is that is that okay with you? Like, do you mind like, do you mind like just taking on the episode? I mean, you know what the theme is yeah, for yeah, today. Sure. I'm I'll, sure. I can just like get you know go to the grocery and get it while you know. Okay. Okay. All right. I, yeah, uh, I got it. I got it. All right. I mean, just. You know what we're talking about today, so just take on uh, take on the I podcast. Know what we're talk about. All right, guys. Uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so Elena told me that uh, the theme for today is actually the art of improvement, and so I'm going to talk about my recipe for improvement. I always felt like I was never happy with you know my work I was never completely happy with um the things I would do because I wanted to be better I wanted to be I always just wanted to be better than my last work or I felt like it was never really enough and that's kind of like a internal problem of mine that I that I I still have to face all the time <laughs> in my career um but I just have these, this obsession with improving. It, it's not even just with in my career, in my craft. It's as a person. Um, I feel like there's so many aspects in my life that um, I, I, I try to to improve on every single day. It's just little things every single day. Um, I, I just want to always use the most um, out of the day. And and that's not to say that you know I have days where even months where I I struggle to to keep doing that. I struggle to to keep that improvement going because I'm human, you know, and uh, you know I'm not always going to feel inspired to do things. Um, but you just got to do it. You just got to push yourself, and it's so it's so cliche. But you just got to trust the process. Um, you know, there's a lot of times in my career where I did doubt myself and I was frustrated with where I was. Um, but you know, I just kept going as Seneca says, um, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And so I prepared, um, my career really spanned, uh, from, you know, several things before I actually became a director. Um, you know, I started from the ground zero. I did not know anything. I did, I didn't know, I didn't have experience or knowledge on anything regarding filmmaking. Um, but I was determined to learn and determined to get there one day. Um, and I really started from, I was an editor first for the first two years, two, three years I was doing editing gigs. Then I did videography. Um, and then I did like one man band type of things, just doing everything um, by myself until finally the last two years um, I've been doing full time directing. So I feel like I just wanted to share some of the things that I kind of the things that kind of kept me going um, and just the art of how I did things and the process of how I how I viewed progress and improvement. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. And I hope that you guys learn or resonate with a thing or two. First of all, you got to know what you want, guys, know what you want. And if you don't, that's fine too. You'll, you, you'll find out what you want, but you need to be flexible and try everything. Um, I think that goes for everything in life. You, you only know what you want until you try everything, until you experience a lot of things. Um, for me, like, I knew I wanted to be a director. I I had a a night of revelation when I was a junior in college, um, thinking about the things that I wanted out of my life and and the things that made me happy. And I said, what what's going to make me happy? What can I do that will make me happy? Um, that I will be you know glad I'm working on. I was like, I really enjoy making videos. I really enjoyed making these small edits. Like, how can I make that a career? How can I make that something that I would be able to, to, to be, to earn from, um, and I'd have fun doing it. So I knew from that night on, I want to be a director. So I did everything I could. I, I studied, I, I put in the hours. I, I just, I knew I wanted to be a director, but I knew I had to do 
I had to try everything. I had to, to learn the skills. Um, so, you know, that's when I started really, really studying editing. I, I was every single day, hours on end, like YouTubing, um, trying to just look at all the tutorials I could. Um, so yeah, like, like just, you have to know what you want, but you also have to try different things to know what you want. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're an artist, you have to try different genres, you have to try different ways of writing, ways of singing, um, because you'll never know until you try, um, in any career, you know, um, you, you might be at a time, at, at a point where you, you don't even know what you enjoy, but how could you even though you enjoy anything if you don't try to do anything. So it's all about just putting yourself out there, trying new things, um, and seeing what you really, really like. You know, I, I tried all the different aspects of filmmaking and at the end of the day, I was like directing and, 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 um, creating stories, writing stories and editing is what I really enjoy. And you know, that's what I'm still doing until today. Cause when you figure out what you want, then everything else is going to be clear and you'll know better how you want to get there and how you're going to get there. Second is, is, you know, and this is in line with what I just talked about is sharpening different types of skills, different skill sets, and like adding to your, uh, you know, adding ammo to your, I don't know, skill set. <laughs> um, I think that, uh, the more skills you have in this, in this age, in this generation, like the better, because things are so quick and easy these days. Like, you can learn and, and, and create so many different types of, um, content. Uh, things are just easier these days. You have so many different tools you have. So you have the internet. <laughs> so I feel like the more skills you have to differentiate yourself from other people, um, that's, what's going to help you to, to, to be, um, distinct in, in whatever career path you choose. Um, especially as a creative, you know, like, uh, if you want to hone your skills in marketing, if you want to hone your skills in, in, in fitness, if you want to hone your skills in, um, singing, like the more you kind of have different, um, I would say disciplines, the more you can kind of merge them together and create something very unique that nobody else can do. Um, or, or nobody else has that kind of like merging of talents and skills. So I feel like, you know, just trying to, to, to constantly learn new skills. That's something I always want. Like, that's something I always, um, put upon myself is like constantly sharpening new skills and learning new skills. Um, that's, I think that that's an advantage to have, um, in any craft that you, that you have and take. And it's just great for your mental too just like exercising the brain, um, learning new things is great for that. Third, I would say to listen and read from the masters, uh, from the legends, from, from, you know, the classics. Uh, I feel like I, I read a lot of books. I read a lot of books, um, especially, you know, film books or, uh, cinematography, but even like just people that are successful I want to read about and, and what they think about success because I feel like if they have achieved success they must know something better than I do um you know and and I must they, you know, they must be doing something right right um so why not learn about their thought process and the way that they view things the way the way that they view hard work um this has always given me kind of a different perspective when I when I when I think of failure when I think of um, you know, just the process of everything kind of put, helps me put into perspective things, makes it clearer, um, and helps me. So why not? Um, uh, also I, you know, as for me as a filmmaker, I study the classics, you know, I, I, I love watching older films and, and studying how, you know, where things came from, how things came to be, um, how old, all these famous directors, where did their style come from? Where did they, like, who were their idols? You know, um, I think it's very, very, very important to always study the classics and, um, the people that really created, um, the craft really helped and build the craft because that's where you see it, where the foundations are, how things, um, how things 
came to be. That's super important. Like if you're, again, if you're a singer, you, you want to study the classics too. You want to listen to the classics. You want to um, study the thought processes and uh, the creative process of, of legends, you know, um, because it's just, it, it inspire, it's inspiring. It, it keeps you driven to, to one day, like that could be you, that, you, you know, it, everything's possible in that, in, in that sense. So, um, uh, other than that, like I was also, I was YouTubing a whole lot, listening to a lot of, um, podcasts, YouTube podcasts and interviews with, you know, successful people and, and filmmakers, directors, cinematographers. Um, I was constantly, constantly watching a lot of YouTube every single day. Um, I, I even took like a masterclass. I, I, I would recommend masterclass. I took Mar Martin Scorsese's masterclass. I took Natalie Portman's masterclass. I should be paid for this masterclass, <laughs> but yeah, I took a lot of masterclasses cause it's just dope to be listening to these legends and how, you know, they're, they're, they're teaching me. It's crazy. So yeah, uh, learn from the, learn from the mat, from, learn from the masters, learn from the best. They must have been doing something right to get there. So um, there's a lot to learn and a lot to, to take from that. Fourth would be finding a mentor. I, I, st I stress on this. And by the way, this is not like ranked on importance. It's, it's take it as you will. But I would say that this finding a mentor, that's a lot of weight on it. A lot of weight of importance. You need to find a mentor in, in any of, you know, this uh, creative, endeavors. Uh, if you want to get good at a craft, if you want to get good at, um, an art form, um, I really, really, really recommend getting up, like finding a mentor in any, any, any way you can, you have to just reach out. Like you have to just like not care too much about what they're going to think. Or, um, you know, like if anything, people appreciate, um, passionate, individuals that would go up to them and ask for advice because, you know, at the end of the day, we're all trying, hopefully we're all trying to help each other out. Um, and in my case, I reached out to my sister's best friend's boyfriend, Miguel Soto, shout out to Sots, um, because he, you know, he, we weren't really acquainted. I, I just, he was my sister's best friend's boyfriend. <laughs> Um, but I knew that they were, you know, they were, you know, uh, they had, they were constantly on set. They were, um, doing a series and, and, and television shows. So I said, I just need, I just, I'll do anything. <laughs> I'll do anything. I just want to be on set. Cause I'd never been on set. So if I had not reached out to him, I would have never had an experience to be on set. And, um, it's just so important to be there. Uh, I, I was just, I was a transcriber. I was transcribing everything that the interviewee was saying. So, um, I was just, I, I just want to do anything just to be on set. Cause I feel like you were going to learn the most in the environment of your craft. And, uh, yeah, that brings me to the next tip. Uh, that is, um, just being in it, being in the environment of whatever craft you choose. If you're, if you want to be a singer, go to, go to these concerts, go to intimate festivals, go to, you know, these live sets in bars, like be around the people, be around, um, be in that atmosphere. You have to, to put yourself in that circle, um, to meet people, to, to understand and, and, and connect with like-minded people. And, also to just get advice, you know, like, um, at the end of the day, you're not, you're, you're going to learn the most from being in it. For me again, was being on set. I just wanted to be on set because, you know, theory and studying and, and learning, reading these books, it, it's not going to really truly be the same as just being on set and studying what everyone is doing and, and, and figuring out how this whole process actually, um, happens. Like how does one create a ad, an ad? How does one create a film? Um, looking at all these moving parts and, and trying to understand it. And, and it's, it's just invigorating to be in front of things that you want, you know, and, and seeing, you know, kind of, it helps me envision what I would want for my future. So just 
put yourself in that atmosphere, whatever craft that you want to pursue, um, try to be around it. Try to just put yourself in it. Go to workshops, go to festivals, go to um, just be in it and be around those people, those like-minded individuals, because um, you'll find a lot of opportunity that way. You'll find a lot of advice that way. Um, you just gotta, gotta just gotta do it. You gotta like take out that fear of of trying it. And you know, we're only, we only have one life, so you'd rather just like take it on and and, and try as much as you can to to take every opportunity that presents um, itself. Lastly, and most importantly. Uh, this is the most important. Again, I stress practice, 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 practice. You have to create something. If you want to be a filmmaker, you got to make a film. You got to make something. You got to make a video. Um, I, I was listening to this, uh, this talk from David Fincher. He said, if you want to be a director, make a video and put directed by Elena. You're a, congrats, you're a director, he said. And the point of that is, you just gotta make something, right? Like you have to put yourself in that mindset that you are a director, that you are an editor, that you are a cinematographer, that you are a singer, but you gotta make something. <laughs> um, you wanna be a singer? Gotta make a song. <laughs> um, and it's, it's constant creation, it's constant practice because um, you know, I was doing a lot of short videos, a lot of, um, I was constantly trying to get my style down and you can only really know what your style and the way your voice, how you want to, how you want to tell stories, how you want to tell a song, how you want to sing a song, how you want to write a, a, a book if you just do it. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's practice, 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 never stop practicing because that's, that's how you're going to grow. You learn from the last, you learn from the mistakes of your last, and there's going to be a lot guys. It's going to be a lot of mistakes. I have made a ton of mistakes, but that's okay. You learn from them. You don't get sour about it. Um, and no regrets on how you do things. It's just all about learning and bringing the lessons onto the next and just becoming better every time. So yeah, I think, I think we kind of covered our, like, I think we kind of covered everything. Don't you think? Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think we kind of covered everything. Hey, she's back. I got you your wine. Uh, hope you, let me give that to you real quick. Hope you enjoy that. So I guess guys, she talked about everything that we needed to talk about on this episode. Merci. It was a quick one. Um, but I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, I'm just going to enjoy it. But this on wine. the real, real guys, season two, I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to give a lot of new more fresh content for you guys quicker also you know i'm trying to uh, still trying to improve on what works what doesn't work and i'm just excited for you guys to see um a fresher take on the podcast uh so you guys better please subscribe and like this if you like this right and comment please comment you know interact with me i'd love to answer questions i'd love to just be able to have a conversation with you guys thank you for supporting and watching the podcast thank you for watching this episode um it's only gonna get better every time every time um and i hope you guys are excited there's gonna be a brand new take on this podcast on the next one so make sure you tune in if you're on spotify please do rate the podcast five stars and follow it and if you're on youtube you already know what to do um thanks guys again for the support and please keep supporting only big things planned ahead thank you guys Mwah. peace peace Thank you guys again for watching another episode. Go support the pod by subscribing on YouTube or following on Spotify. And check out e.v.world for podcast clips and so much more. See you on the next.